Hello everybody, how are you doing tonight? Welcome to my shop. John Pierce, now you've probably heard that name a couple of times over the last month or so. He sent me a ton of blanks. I met him at Tim Babb's shop, the Woodworking Maniac store in Shelbyville, Kentucky. And uh, he's the one that made the RJB Woodturner blank amongst a bunch of other blanks that he made and gave to me. I've had a great time turning the pins, or turning the blanks he gave me into pins. And here's one more, and this one's really special, really close to my heart. Take a look at this one. That is the Louisville Cardinals. Tonight, we're gonna turn this into a pin, and I'm really excited because I love me some Cardinals. You can probably tell. All right, let's get started. I've got my U of L blank chucked up here, and just for fun, I thought I would turn this from square to round instead of rounding over the corners. I hope it turns out well. I don't know what to expect. If I start turning and it starts taking huge chunks out, I probably will stop and go ahead and round it over, but I thought it'd be fun just to see what happens. This is a Lumalite, so it, it really should, it may chip a tiny bit to start with, but it really should clean up well and turn well. Uh, even without taking the corners off. But I thought it'd be kind of fun just to watch. I'm fairly happy with how it how it started out. I mean, there was a little bit like you can see this chipping here, but you can see where it's all disappearing as I finally get down and the blank starts to get more true. I can tell you though, I thought my tool was sharp. I felt it and I could feel the um, the uh, oh shoot behind the behind the bevel the um, the edge on the blade. I can't think of what it's called off the top of my head. It'll come to me in a minute. I could feel it. So I thought I had a sharp blade, but I can tell you right now it's dragging. I do not have a sharp tool, so I'm going to go sharpen this real quick. But before I do, I want to show you guys a little tip. Somebody told me about this. I don't remember who it was, but notice how you have all this uh, Alumalite. Any, most of your acrylics will do this. They'll have these ribbons. A great way to get those off while you're turning is an old toothbrush. They say just take and rub it right along the mandrel, and it pulls all of that right off the mandrel. So I'm going to start using this. I got a little bit nervous there a couple times because as I was getting toward the center here, I would kind of hear like a rough little sort of a skipping and it made me nervous that I was maybe chipping the blank out a little bit, but uh, I, I didn't. It actually looks really nice. I've got a great fit on the bushings on both ends. I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean up the uh, excess ribbons with the vac hose and uh, we're going to micro mesh this. I'm really going to get after this one with the pads, especially the first couple. Uh, we want to make sure we get a nice smooth surface on it and then we'll come back and shine it up with the last couple of pads. It's going to look super when I get done with it. Look at that, getting a good slurry off there. That's what I want. I'm going to go after it two, maybe three times. Do the same exact thing.
lots of water. If you don't use plenty of water with these micro mesh pads, any dust that uh, you take off of the blank, actually you can burn it or score it right back into the blank. I've damaged them before uh, because I didn't clear or wipe the slurry off or keep the pad wet. I built up too much heat. So always wipe the slurry to get rid of the stuff you don't want. Well, shoot. Uh, you should never talk while you're doing this. Always pay attention. But wipe the slurry to get rid of everything you don't want. And then make sure to keep the pad good and wet so you don't build any heat. We're going to just work through the pads. I'm just trying to build a good slurry on each of them. I'll go ahead and speed this up so you guys don't have to watch how slow this is. That looks so darn good, it almost doesn't need buffing. Where do we get the wheels on here? This thing, you can kind of see a little bit of a haze to it. I get the buffing wheels on here, this thing is gonna glow. It's gonna be amazing. Check out that gorgeous plank. Let's get this over to the bench and get it in a kit. I can't wait to see what this looks like. I've got a nice, what I believe is a Wall Street kit or a Wall Street 2 kit uh, for this pen. We're gonna go ahead and get it assembled. These are these are super simple to assemble. I've got a line down the back where the um, the sticker with the U of L logo was placed and I'm just gonna put the cap right down that line to hide as much of it as possible. Get it into the pen press here. Before I press it all the way, let's make sure I didn't, there we go. Always like to make sure that I didn't let it slip before I press it all the way. Bring it up to the camera and let it focus. And you can see we have a gorgeous fit right there along the cap. Super happy with that. I'm gonna grab my spring, I'm gonna pop it onto the, whoops, there's a little ball on there. There we go. Pop it onto the ink refill. We'll drop that into the nib. We're gonna attach the transmission. Just gets threaded in, tighten it up. Always love testing the action just to make sure they work well. Slide it together and we have got one gorgeous pin. Look at that. Is that amazing or what? <laughs> love my Cardinals. This one is staying with me. Sorry everybody, but uh, that's my pin. I'd really like to thank you for joining me for the turning of this U of L pen. Like I said a second ago, this one's mine. I'm not letting it out of my sight. I know I got a young boy in the house here who's going to fight me for it, but uh, he's not going to win. <laughs> I love it. Take a look at that. I mean, I got, I was so happy with it. And, and I mean, it just, I've got a great fit at all of the pen components. I just love a nice, smooth transition from component to blank. To me, that just says the pen was turned properly. Thank you, John, for this blank. I truly appreciate it. He probably saw my sign. He knew I love my cards, and uh, I couldn't be happier with the pen. I'd like to thank you guys for joining me tonight. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon. Take care, everybody.